So, well, what is it, Shirley, and how fast are we talking here? Well, 6G is an ultra-fast wireless network expected to arrive around 2030. If we think 5G is fast, 6G could be 100 times faster. Um, the peak speed of 6G could reach one terabyte per second with a lag time of 0 0.1 millisecond, which is nearly negligible. So a world with 6G is almost like science fiction. Think real-time holograms, flying taxis, and human bodies and brains connected to the internet. Um, but the only problem is 6G only exists in theories now. So the world hasn't actually agreed on what technologies could enable 6G. And one of the most hopeful candidates is the terahertz airwaves, which could potentially meet 6G's requirements of high speed and low latency time. Right. Uh, the, extremely fast. Um, trial. Yes. In the trial stages, I would imagine, as you point out there. Why are different countries, though, competing so fiercely if this is merely conceptual at this point? Yeah, for one, 6G has so much potential, it could change fundamentally how the world works. Uh, we've seen how much difference smartphones have made to societies. So 6G will be more than that. So the countries that develop and patent 6G first will be the biggest winners in the future digital world. And the second reason is national security. China's rise in 5G, uh, especially heralded by companies like Huawei, has made the world see how important it is uh, being independent in the digital technology development. So you either have independence, independence and build your own network or have your country's network controlled by another country. That is why uh, many countries now in the world are racing to reach 6G the first. Any tangible and specific steps that some of these countries have taken to develop the technology? What do we know? Yeah, many countries now have started research on 6G. Uh, regional partnerships have been formed. Uh, countries like China, the U.S., and Finland are among the first to start 6G research. They started around 2018. Last November, we saw China launching uh, a sa satellite to test potential 6G transmission, which was uh, built as the world's first 6G satellite. And Huawei has already already had a 6G research lab in Canada. Um, in the U.S., the private sector companies have formed the Next G Alliance last October. Members include Apple, Google, AT&T, Samsung, but not Huawei. Um, the United Union in last December reviewed a 6G research project led by Nokia. Uh, members including uh, Ericsson and Telefonica and some universities. Countries like Japan and South Korea have also started research last year and devoted funding for 6G research. And and other countries also include Germany, the UK. So it is really like a worldwide race to develop 6G.